Today I am sitting in a Challenger 1042 and I wanted to demonstrate how to create an implement and uh, and also save the settings that you have with that implement that way it's there the next time you get in the tractor or the next time you hook up to that implement whether it be later in the season or the next year um, after you switch to other implements. Um, so first thing I'm going to do I'm going to go to uh, I can either use my quick jump here, but I'll show you how to get there. So I'm going to go to my task dock. I'm going to click on, on my implement. I'm going to have to hit the create new. So I'm going to hit my check that it's a rear mounted implement. I want it to be a, a uh, draw bar. And I'm going to name it. SF fourteen thirty six. Bear with me. So that's my Sunflower fourteen thirty six disc. So I hit the check mark. Go back to home. So if I click on that, now that's what it comes up. Now I need to change the the settings of the disc. I'll click on that working with we're going to call it a 36 foot disc make that 36 foot zero um, I'm going to leave these alone those are measurements you'll need to make from from the draw bar to the center of the tool and from the draw bar to the back of the tool that's for your mapping um, it already calculates your center distance if you wanted to uh, put make a painting trigger so for your start always defaults to plus and plus so if I hit minus so then when I click that that's click the hydraulic so when I drop my disc it's gonna start painting on my GPS so I'll go ahead and hit, hit the return button I want to change my overlap it always defaults to to uh, 4.25 inches so I'm gonna make that zero and I want it to overlap six inches so that's where you want to put your overlap in. You don't want to you don't want to put it in with your working with that. That's going to screw things up. So put your overlap in there, and you'll be happy. So you hit the return button. I'm going to hit my home key. So now, uh, if I go to my GPS settings and I click on my implement, it will have all that in there as well. So. Let's just say I, I liked what I had in there already for my end and go and my hydraulics. So I'm going to go to the home. I'll click on what looks like our like a little Accu terminal or Vario terminal. Click on that. Click it again. Now I want to save this. So that's the ABC. So I'm going to click on that. And I'll click on a blank spot and hit ABC SF 1436 or you can call it disc or whatever you want to call it whatever you're pulling hit the check mark so now if I go back before this didn't say anything there next to the floppy disk now it says Sunflower 1436 so that's that's how you save save and implement now um, so that will be in there it'll save all your hydraulic settings anything you change your in and go uh, TMS anything in here that you change it'll save with that implement and if you, you can always go back in and save it the same way just click on that you made a change hit the SF 1436 and hit the check mark or if you shut the tractor off and you didn't save it it will ask you if you want to save it and I'll give you 30 seconds to make your decision and then you can either save the change or not um, anyways that's all I got today um, I hope this helps if you're if you're new to these machines or you're wanting to learn a little more more about them um, it's a real, real easy way to store all your implements and, and keep them safe that way you or whoever else is running the machine 
can switch them easily and everything's there that you want want to be there the next time you hook up to that implement.